Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing my weeks 21 and 22 update. Wow, I can't believe it's been that many weeks. Anyway, of pregnancy, <laughs> I forgot to say that. We are updating my um, pregnancy with my first baby. We are having a girl, and she's due on May 4th, 2019. I am getting very excited because it's Today is New Year's and it's 2019, so this year we are going to have a baby and we are super excited. So if you are curious as to how I've been feeling, what updates we have going on the past couple weeks, go ahead and keep watching. So like I do in every pregnancy update, I'm just gonna go through my little list of questions so that we can compare, at least I can compare, go back week to week and see how this pregnancy has progressed. So um, as of right now, so I'm 22 weeks and four days, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, and the baby is, the size of a coconut, which is very big to me. I don't know. Um, and then baby is almost a pound and almost a foot long. So I think she's like 15 ounces and 10 inches long. So she is definitely growing. Um, so total weight gain, um, as of my doctor's appointment on Wednesday last week, so a week ago, um, I was up like 20 pounds. So yeah, I'm packing it on guys. I'm packing it on and it's helping this baby grow and it's all good. I really, I try to like, um, describe it as lately. I felt like I'm a Capri Sun. I feel like if you like, you know how you poke a straw into a, like, Capri Sun pouch? That's how I feel. I feel like so, like, I feel like I'm swelling up, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, not way bad. I'm sure I, it, it can be worse, and it probably will get worse. But I'm starting to feel like, like a Capri Sun. Like, you could just poke a hole in me and put a straw in there, and you it'd just be a lot of water. <laughs> or Capri Sun juice. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> the next question is maternity clothes. Yes, for the most part, everything I wear is maternity clothes at this point. Um, but I haven't gotten anything new, I think, since my last update. Um, if you watch my vlogs, I did vlog like a week or so ago, and I did get one new sweater from Shop Pink Blush. Um, so I guess I did get that, and that was new. Um, it's really pretty, so go check that out. All of Shopping Blush stuff is, I call it Shopping Blush because I think that's their Instagram handle, but it's Pink Blush Maternity or just Pink Blush. They have like regular non-maternity clothes. All of their stuff is so awesome. I've loved everything that I've gotten from them. So yeah, if you need maternity clothes or just like new clothes, um, check out uh, Pink Blush because that's what I really like. But yeah, I really haven't gotten any new maternity things um other than that one sweater okay the next question is how are you sleeping um not very well to be honest in the past couple weeks I have not been sleeping well and I think it's just because I'm just trying to adjust to this belly and I'm feeling just more uncomfortable like I'm trying it's it's just hard for me to get comfortable um and I've got insomnia I think a little bit on a few nights I will wake up and not be able to go back to sleep and that never happens to me um so that's kind of annoying like the other night I think it was about a week ago I it was after Christmas just after Christmas I went to bed probably like 11 or midnight and I woke up at 3 a.m and was like wide awake ready to go for the day like I could not fall back asleep so that was kind of annoying. Um, and I've actually started taking Unisom, which is what I took 
in the beginning of pregnancy. It's a sleep aid, but it's also for nausea. Um, and I haven't taken it like every night. I just take it if I'm struggling to sleep. So I've done that twice in the past week, taking you know, some. And you know, I don't know. I, I'm sure it's it's fine. I know it's fine because you can take it your whole pregnancy. Um, but I don't really want to take it. I just want to sleep. <laughs> well, it's just like such a balance. Do I take it to help me sleep or do I not sleep and I don't know and you know not take it but like I said I've only had to take it twice in the past couple weeks last night I slept great um so I mean I say great great in comparison to how I've been sleeping the past couple weeks so um yeah so sleep is starting to decline let's just say that uh the best moment this week that's the next question um probably christmas and just celebrating the holidays with family and um getting to listen to baby's heartbeat again at the doctor um and yeah that's probably all the good moments happening <laughs> the next question is are you missing anything um yeah I'm missing sleep. <laughs> um, I was going to say too, on Sunday, I was so excited to like take a nap and just really sleep all afternoon because I had nothing going on. And I laid down and I couldn't fall asleep. So after an hour of laying there, I was like, fine, I'll just get up. And like, I ended up putting down my Christmas tree and all my Christmas decorations and stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of missing sleep. I think I'm just going to have to be happy with whatever I, whatever sleep I get from this point on in my life. Okay, the next question is, are you feeling movement? Yes, I'm feeling movement every day. Um, it's just not very strong. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. Um, in my last update, I mentioned that my placenta is anterior. It's right in the front. So until baby gets a little bit stronger, um, I'm just going to continue to feel tiny, tiny little like, it's not flutters anymore. It's more distinct. Like I can feel like a boom, like an actual movement. It feels like a little, I don't know, a little kick, I guess. <laughs> the next question is, are you craving anything? And um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm kind of craving yogurt a lot um, and sweets. And I think that's just probably because of the holidays and what's been available. I've been craving chocolate more. Um, but yeah, nothing like crazy out of the ordinary, I guess. Okay, is anything making you queasy or sick? No, not really. I mean, sometimes I get heartburn and it oh, like that sort of makes me feel sick, like I'm going to throw up, kind of. But um, nothing really making me queasy or sick, like how I felt in the first trimester. Next question is, what are some other symptoms you're experiencing right now? So I have been way thirsty like I was in the beginning of my pregnancy. I've been so thirsty. I can't get enough water. I drink um, probably, um, I'd say like three, at least three of those a day, maybe more. Um, yeah, I'm just super thirsty. Um, and then I have been having pretty much heartburn every day. Um, and I can't quite pin down what gives me heartburn. Like sometimes water gives me heartburn, I swear. So that's been annoying, um, but I haven't really had to take a lot of Tums or anything. I think I took Tums once in the past two weeks because it was like so annoying. Um, so it hasn't been too bad. It's been manageable for sure. Um, another symptom is I've been so, so hungry. I am so ravenous. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this already. I am just like, I can't, I just have these like episodes where I'm just starving and I have to eat a lot and I can't really eat a lot because I don't have a lot of room to spare in my belly so maybe that's why I feel ravenous is because I eat a little and then like within an hour or so I'm hungry again I don't feel like I'm ever really like full like satiated I guess I feel like I'm just full because of the space in my belly if that makes sense not ever. I There have been some times where I eat something and I'm like totally satisfied, but it's been, I've been a lot more hungry lately. That's for sure. Um, and then um, 
my belly is growing a lot. It's definitely getting in the way more. I do yoga every morning, like I've mentioned, and um, it just, when I bend over and stuff, it just, it's just in the way. <laughs> but that's okay, that's good. It means baby is growing, and that makes me very happy. Um, my skin is definitely a lot more dry. My face has been drier. I've been breaking out. Um, and I have not really broken out at all. My face has been pretty clear this pregnancy. Um, but just in the last week or so, and it could be because of all the Christmas holiday junk I've been eating. Maybe my skin's not really liking that, but, um, yeah, my skin's been dry and breaking out. Excuse me. I have indigestion. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, my belly has been drier and much more itchy. My back has been itchy. Yeah, so dry skin. I've been putting on a lot of coconut oil and lotion and, um, like, got some Palmer's, like, cocoa butter um, and been using that a little bit. But I honestly just like coconut oil. I feel like that does the best job for me, at least. Um, next question is, is your belly button in or out? My belly button is currently in, but it's definitely gonna pop out, I think, in the next couple of weeks. I would not be surprised if by like 25 weeks or so it's popped out because it's it's getting tight. And next, after that, the question is, wedding rings on or off? My wedding ring, I didn't know if this would happen to me, but my wedding ring is, so I just wear the band right now, um, and it's getting quite tight. Um, we were sitting in church the other day and I was just attempting to take it off and it hurt. Like it's leaving a dent. I don't know if you can see that, but let's see. It's kind of leaving a dent there. Anyway, so probably we'll need to take that off soon and just wear something else. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear, but I'll figure that out. <laughs> Oh, and then the next question is, are you happy or moody most of the time? Um, I actually have been moody and half, like, not more moody, but I think have been the most moody I've been in my pregnancy the past, like, couple weeks. And I don't know why that is, but I've definitely felt, like, mood swings happening, and I felt a little bit more anxiety, um, like, actual, like you know, where I feel like my heart getting pounding a little bit and just getting anxious about things that are so simple, like just messes around the house or whatever. It's nothing like I've had anxiety about the baby being okay and everything being all right, the whole pregnancy. But this is like just anxiety over silly little things. And I'm like more short tempered and stuff. And anyway, so um, I have been a lot more moody, but I'm still happy. <laughs> I just think I've been more moody than I've been, um, my entire pregnancy the past couple weeks. So hopefully I can turn that around and be a little bit more happy for Eric's sake mostly. <laughs> okay. And then this next question is, what are you looking forward to? Um, I'm just really looking forward to, um, getting the nursery done. Um, we have dresser and their crib and all that stuff, but I'm, we're now at the point where we can start organizing the closet, um, and like decorating. So I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to do a ton of decorations, nothing too crazy. Um, but I'm, I am excited to start getting it all tied together. So that's really fun. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys something we did get for baby over the last week. Um, we actually got it from our friends for Christmas. They gave us this little um, Star Wars onesie. So they gave us this little Star Wars onesie. It's so stinking cute. Um, it's just like, I don't know where she got it. She said she got it at some like little um, online random boutique. But it has like, <laughs> you know all the little Star Wars, like R2-D2 and Darth Vader and Stormtrooper and stuff. And then, I don't know if you can see, but there's like little lightsabers. Anyway, it's very cute. Um, if you guys um, are new here, we are due on May the 4th, so Star Wars Day. 
and my husband and I are actually both really big Star Wars fans, so it's just crazy how that all worked out. Um, so our friends got us that for Christmas, and it was super cute and fun, and um, made me realize we don't have any Star Wars clothes for Baby Girl because, I don't know, you just they don't make a whole ton of Star Wars clothes for girls, so we just haven't seen any. Um, if we were having a boy, I would imagine we would see more of it, and we'd probably be tempted to buy more of that or people would buy it for us um but yeah so that was super fun to get that gift from them and it just makes me more and more excited that like she's gonna be here before we know it we have four months left but I'm just like I just know it's gonna fly by so all right and here is the belly shot from the side so I'm wearing a nice little maternity shirt and here it is from the front, so definitely looking pregnant. All right, you guys, that is it for today's update. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and click the bell notifications to be notified when I update uh, and upload uh, my next video. And give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, I would really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!